Hey guys, my name is Z and you're watching He Makes It Easy. And welcome to a new lesson for GCSE Design Technology for Timbers. And today we'll focus on the core content which is 1.3 Energy. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe 1.3.1 Sources, Generation and Storage of Energy 1.3.2 which is Powering Systems And 1.3.3 which is Factors to Consider when Choosing Appropriate Energy Sources to Make Products and Power Systems So check out the pinned comment for all the timestamps But we'll move on now to 1.3.1 .1, Sources, Generation and Storage of Energy And we'll focus on Oil, Gas and Coal now and here's what it is and how it's converted into energy, advantage and disadvantage. And I'll just skip right, sorry, skim through all of these. And oil is basically processed and split into petroleum products such as petrol, paraffin, and diesel, which I covered this in my organic chemistry video for chemistry. So if if you haven't already, just check out my YouTube channel. And advantage could be it's stable and it's large scale and high power electricity generation, and it's relatively cheap to extract. And this disadvantage is that oil power plants are highly polluting and they impact the landscape. And gas is where burning gas can power turbines with a waste heat power powering a steam turbine. And natural gas is used in homes for heating or cooking. And they have low emission. And they are stable, large scale and high power electricity generation. And it's relati relatively cleaner than coal or oil. But burning gases are highly polluting. And coal is that heat energy and hot gas convert water into steam which powers the turbine to create higher voltage electricity. And advantage is that it's relatively cheap and it's reliable. And disadvantage could be coal power plants emit pollution such as carbon dioxide, sulfur, mercury, and all these chemicals. And technologies to reduce coal power plant emission are expensive and coal mining impacts significantly on the landscape. Then we have more like, in, like different energy sources like biomass, biodiesel, and tidal. Biomass is when organic material divide, derived from organisms like root, woods, crops, rubbish, and is used directly via combustion of wood or biodegradable waste to produce heat or to convert into electricity. And the advantage could be waste from plants and farming can be used. And this advantage should be large areas needed to be cultivate uh, needed to cultivate crops and they emit fumes that add to global warming and, oh sorry. and biodiesel is that it's made from natural elements such as plants, vegetables and fermented waste cooking oil and it can be used in diesel powered vehicles without modifying the engine and the advantage should be the waste from plants and farming can be used and this advantage is that large areas needed to cultivate crops and tidal is that turbines turn, uh, generate electricity from the movement of tidal water and water is trapped and then released through turbines as the water level changes. Advantage is that it's no, there's no emission and it's powerful and it's predictable. And this advantage could be it's expensive and it's only available in coastal areas. Then there's wind, solar and hydroelectric. And wind used like propellers blade which spins a shaft to create electricity through, through a generator. And it's freely available and can be used in remote area. And disadvantage could be it's unpredictable because the wind is unpredictable and it restricts sh uh, shipping traffic when placed in the sea. And for solar, they use sun's ray to heat a fluid that is circulated through pipes and transferring heat and water and producing steam. And the steam then converts energy into a uh, in a turbine which powers a generator to produce electricity. And advantage is that it's a reliable source and most homes can have their own electrical supply. And but the disadvantage could be that it's expensive and it all depends on the location. Like in the North Pole or South Pole where there's rarely any sunlight, it's quite difficult to use solar power. And hydroelectric is where a dam traps water that flows through tunnels and turns turbines to make electricity. Advantage is that large amount of low cost power can be produced and it can have a secondary purpose such as a water reserve. Disadvantage is that it's expensive and may damage the environment. Then here's powering systems, we have batteries and cells. And batteries and cells use chemical, uh, chemical energy to make electricity. There's two terminals, one positive and one negative. And chemical reactions uh, take place to produce electrons that collect at the negative terminal. And when connected in a circuit, it will flow to the positive terminal. And here's more information you can have a read. Like a cylindrical cell and prismatic cell. 
and solar cells, they are electronic devices that can send like, sunlight directly into electricity. It contains two layers of silicon treated to allow electrons to flow when sunlight falls on them, and it provides free energy once initial costs are recovered and it is non-polluting. Example is that like solar panels and small thin low voltage cells can be used cheaply for project work. Then we have mains electricity and wind power. It's supplied from a power station through the national grid and it is an alternating current, which I covered this in my RGCSC physics electricity, so go check it out in my YouTube channel. And it flows in one direction and then the other at a rate of 50 times a second. And items need to, re need to like pl be plugged into the mains to be powered. Examples are all these. And wind power is when it converts the movement of the wind into mechanical power or electricity. And wind turbine consists of a bladed rotor that drives the rotation shaft in the generator to create electricity. Then we have lastly 1.3.3 factors to consider choosing energy sources. We have factors, description and more information. We have portability, which like remote working requires access to devices like computer or phones with a power source that does not need to be plugged in to main electricity. And there's more information such as such as devices can be portable and compact as they do not require any power converters. Environmental impacts. There's no entirely like clean energy energy source exists, and the impact may be active like fossil fuel emission or the destruction of habitats through extraction. And passive impacts include the sound of generators or the appearance of wind farms. Other environmental factors include the impact of transportation or waste disposal. And power output is when a generator's output may, may like vary according to conditions at the power plants. And many renewable do not produce electricity predictably or like consistently. For example, the output of power like solar panels relies on the strength of the sunshine, which depends on the time of the day and the cloud cover and ultimately your location. And renewables are therefore often backed up with other forms of electric, uh, electricity generation. And the designer must select an, ele like, select an electrical supply, electricity supply capable of reliably like, delivering the required power consistently. And circuit and system connection. When considering the alternative like, power source, a designer will need to consider how the circuit or system will be connected to it. For example, the use of available plugs, connectors and terminals. And lastly, the choice of the energy supply, which is for cost. For example, batteries or main electricity power pack will impact the running cost of the product and so the cost of the alternating power supplies must be considered carefully by designers. Because some like power packs or like power supply may be very expensive or very costly, so it will increase the cost of the product. Therefore, if you want to have like a, like a margin or like, or like a set profit, percentage of profit, you have to raise the price, which may not be, a, which like may not satisfy the customers, some of them. So you have to take into consideration of the cost. So that's it for this new video for GCSE Design Technology, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms. And also check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content every every day. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.